If you are going to be making a gingerbread house, a gingerbread home, I'll say, hopefully yours looks a little bit better, at least than mine does. A live look with our state and Main Street cam, you're seeing the clouds, but we're also starting to see a little bit of that sun as it starts to come on up here, uh, coming up at 712 this morning. Now we do have a bit of a warm up ahead today, not so much temperatures in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees in the low 40s for your Tuesday, low 50s. By the time we head into Wednesday, we could be very, very close to a daily record for Wednesday's date. That record 54 degrees set back in 1939. Now, as we go into the tail end of the work week, we'll see continued mild temperatures in the upper 40s, in fact, by Friday, and that's when precipitation will start to return. I don't think so much the morning hours. I think the morning, at least at this point, looks to remain pretty dry. Now, keep in mind, this is still about four days away, so we'll continue to fine tune these details as we go over the next 24 to 36 to 48 hours. But it does look like by Friday afternoon, widespread rain will be likely. Notice I said rain and not snow. The snow looks to stay to our north with that center of low pressure right around eastern and central Iowa. With that close proximity to that area of low pressure, we're going to be on the kind of warmer side of things as we go through the duration of this event. Rain starts to wrap up by Friday evening. Might see a few wraparound snow showers for your Saturday morning into the afternoon. Otherwise, not at this point looking to be anything too substantial or impactful for the state line as we go through your Sunday drying out. State satellite and radar looking fairly quiet. However, we do have quite a bit of cloud cover. That northerly wind off of Lake Superior really pulling in quite a bit of cloud cover to the west of I-35 in central Iowa. That's where they're seeing clear sky. So really seeing some kind of lake influenced air, if you will, move over our area with those cloudy skies. Some snow for parts of the deep south. I know some of you at home are going snow in the deep south and we can't get snow here. What's up with that? Well, hopefully. We'll get a little bit of that changing pattern here in the very near future here. Winter weather advisories in effect for the western portion of North Carolina and eastern Tennessee. High pressure though out west is going to keep weather for us locally on the quiet side. Notice how quiet things are across the western and central United States with that large area of high pressure. Now with that northerly wind trying to squeeze out any amount of moisture possible, we might see a flurry or two between now and about 8, 9 o'clock. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies. I'll tell you, I've not seen any reports of flurries so far this morning. It is on the chilly side, though. Wind chills in the upper 20s to low 30s. 31 currently in Freeport. Good morning to you all. 22, the cool spot on this map there in Rochelle. And as we go into the overnight hours, we'll see partly cloudy skies gradually decreasing cloud cover here as we go into your early Tuesday. Partly cloudy tomorrow. Highs in the low 40s. Look at that low 50s for your Wednesday. There's the rain chances uh, that I was mentioning returning for your Friday. Let's take a look at your most accurate 10 day forecast and see if the precipitation chances look to continue. It does look like we're in a bit of an active pattern here with rain and even some snow chances likely by next Monday.